we're, we're looking at, the county gets roughly $113,000, give or take a couple of dollars annually, from the Marcellus Shale uh, drilling. And if I'm correct, Jamie, we've got more or less $61,000 from our initial slug of money, which we received last year. I know there was a, an apportionment to farmland preservation and mm -hmm. then to the uh, Envirothon. Mm -hmm. 325, I guess it was. Okay. Yeah, you're right. Um, and and then the uh, the the next uh, allocation will be next will be October. October, correct. So there'll be another one thirteen. And that may go so. up. Yeah, it can fluctuate a little bit depending on the amount of gas that's that's drilled. So roughly, you're looking at uh, about one hundred and seventy-five thousand dollars available in this grant fund uh, if we get started this fall and, and make decisions uh, early in two thousand and fourteen on who's going to be awarded grants. And these applications will go through your department, Chris, Correct. and then recommended to us, and you will be monitoring the money so that we're not in a situation where we grant money that we don't have. Yes. You, you might, if you're going along, if you're going to go forward, you might want to consider whether or not to do everything you have available the first year, or, because you can carry this money, mm -hmm. uh, or to hold back some because what I, my experience has been is that you inevitably have someone that said, well, we didn't know about it, you know, as hard as you try. We didn't know about it and so now they want to try for it the following year, but there's only, you know, two-thirds as much the next year available, so you're, you have fewer in grants. It's, just, the, a, it's the, just a consideration the thought. thought. was a very good example where this money was a very appropriate use and it was, it was needed. We wouldn't have done that. The Envirothon would have been jeopardized, so I, I think. It's, it's good to hold yeah. some uh, in reserve. And they, they for one, are aware that, that this is in the works and, you know, this was discussed. And so they'd apply, on, I would suspect, they'd sure. apply, you know, uh, as soon as the window's open. So. As long as they meet the criteria that's the one, two, and three that's found on the first page, they're eligible. Okay. And we, we set up a limit at... Uh, maximum grant amount of $25,000. I saw that. And that can only be 50% of the cost of the project. I saw that. Is that true across the board? All of them being 50%? Yes. So if it's a 5000 they get 25000 Okay. And I guess the reason we're coming to you at this time is uh, most municipalities are going to start the budget process in September and October. We would like uh, them to get their grant applications in during the months of November and December so that so the three of you can make some decisions early in 14 on, on grant awards. This isn't limited to the municipalities, nonprofits can also no. apply. Is that correct? Absolutely. Okay. And, and if, how are you going to uh, send this information? And I'm assuming we will approve this application. You're going to get the applications out to all the municipalities, or are you just going to announce that these are available at your office? Well, I think we're going to have to do a combination of, of those two or three things. Um, you know, obviously, we can send it to the municipalities, the list of nonprofits, uh, for instance, who applied for the, uh, the comp plan funding. Um, and Conservancies. Then, Conservancy, yes. Do you think we'll be deluged with uh, applications? Mm -hmm. That's the large deterrent, is yeah, they'd have right. to come up with 50% of the money, and obviously, if they're going to get a project in, they've got to come up with that amount within a two or three month and window. And does it have to be money or can it be in kind? Could they use their their labor, for instance, in a township? To That's usually allowed on the deep state grants. Typically it is uh, permitted, yeah. And it's up to 25, so if you have a slew of money, you don't have to send the funding. No, correct. And we'll, we'll close the application period then at the end of December. Julie and I will go through the applications, see which ones are consistent with the guidelines here, and then we'll bring all of them to you and you can prioritize and, and decide on funding amounts and things of that nature. Are you looking for in-kind to be a, an acceptable means of match? I think it's, it's acceptable. acceptable. Similar to what the state allows in terms of well, criteria, I mean, it have right. to, you know, you usually have to produce some sort of a documentation, documentation yeah. whether it be timesheets for labor or that sort of stuff. Mm -hmm. Or if you're using your equipment. Like when we built the rec tra trail at Renova Center, the township 
brought in their, their vehicles and, you know, helped to plow and level and then they had their, their, mecha their, um, their people, you know, doing work. All that should be allowed to be a match. I agree. That's most of the grants that we deal with from the state and federal government. That's yeah.